Okay, so in this video I'm going to run a, an estimation for the binomial model and I'm going to use uh, the Deriv Markets uh, package. So to load that package into uh, the R script uh, project here we must use library and I must run that library uh, to make the functions available and um, we can have a look at the just different um, options here for estimating cox ross rubinstein model or a variety of different uh, binomial type models uh, we might take a look here initially at binome and then take a look at the example that's given so we have some parameter values here that we can uh, set up uh, again typical parameter values for cox ross rubinstein uh, tree and then run binome up and then we have to declare in the estimation is the option American or European and then there's also a variety of different trees as well that's possible to estimate so I have some code already set up here so perhaps I should I'll run that so I'll paste uh, the code that I have here so I have stock price 100k so same as before uh, we're going to go with a, a four-step tree and in addition to running the option valuation I'm also interested in plotting uh, the values here and um, now for sake of argument um, I'll run the estimation for a European tree and then change it for an American tree and so on so we can um, Okay, so we want to run uh, again a Cox Ross. If it's just basically Cox Ross uh, model, and I specifically want a European tree, and it's a Cox Ross Rubinstein tree, I can use the the following code, right? So uh, we should first of all make sure we have that library available and ggplots uh, in fact I need to install ggplot uh, ggplot2 so we'll come over here to packages and um, install and then ggplot2 and I've been prompted so just install that um, And we have perhaps a pause and I fully uh, installed the uh, ggplot and it's two and its dependencies so that takes a short little while and um, I want to neutralize this code we'll see why in a moment and I just want to run binome up uh, with the end steps equal to four American false which means European CRR which is true Cox Ross Rubenstein and yes I want to return trees and return parameter outputs so there's a risk neutral probability there's a u there's a d based on the cox ross rubenstein specifications so let's run that and then assign the value here or the vector values to x okay so i run and end step not found okay we need to um i didn't run this line of code here so there should be end steps and now we have end steps appearing and now we can run so we get a value here assigned we get an, uh, a list of uh, the price and then some Greeks which we're not going to look at specifically and then parameters and option price tree okay so there's actually quite a bit in here let's have a look at that what's entailed in that and if we if we run X it will print out X and maybe I should try to minimize this side make a little bit more space over here and then give a little bit more space to the console so when i run x all that output will appear and what we have for the parameter values that i inputted so for s equal to 100 k equal to 100 v equal to 20 percent r equal to five percent time period equal to one year dividend equal to zero and a step size of four steps 
we get the following output so we can get from the tree a delta gamma and theta we also get a value here for the four step tree of 997 we'll see if we can co corroborate that in a moment with excel spreadsheet uh, interestingly we get uh, an option price tree so this is the value of the options again we'll just see if we can verify that against a manual example set up in excel we get a stock price tree probability tree exercise so where does exercise occur now there's no early exercise because this is european option so early exercise only occurs in the final um, column of nodes and we've a delta tree and a bond price tree okay so uh, the, the value here is 997 and it's for a call option and how do i know it's for a call option because we set the put up equal to actually we didn't it's assuming that it's um, a call option okay so if i wanted the put option we would need to include this right um specification so i'll copy and i'll paste that here and run it again put a comma run this again now it should be the same set of results an x and it is okay so it's 997 um again if we just purely wanted uh, the value of the option on its own right a binome up true f so actually we make this false because we want to make it european false okay so it's european it's put up false that means it's a call and cr true if we run for the four step tree we should get 997 which we do you can see observe down here and then if i did this for if i made the step size equal to uh 1000 we should get closer to 1045 the european value so if you recall when we ran the black shoals call with those parameters we got 1045 1045 if we put in a thousand steps here in our step size okay thousand steps has appeared here and then run that estimation we should get closer to the 1045 which we do if i put in 2000 steps and run we should converge even closer so now it's 10 try that again and run again and 10 44 9 which is closer and if i put in 10,000 steps which is a very big tree notice here this has changed to 10,000 steps now run again and you can see here we're at 1045 which is the same as if we ran the value here for black shoulds right so if we when we run the value for black shoulds right try that again black shoulds 1045 okay so as we increase the step size here we get uh, closer to the black shoulds and that's what cocktrust rubenstein um theory and tree and literature would suggest that we get a higher level of convergence as n increases also note as well that the this tree is quite fast right Ten thousand steps normally is quite a big uh, computation but this uh, uh, the r and the deriv uh, markets uh, package seems to be quite efficient and that could be important then if we're doing uh, larger scale type estimations okay so if we revert back to the four steps just a few additional checks then this model looks as if it's performing quite well i'm going to revert back to the four step tree so four steps and let's run this four step tree so this number of steps now is reverted back to four and i want the output from the stock price tree the option price tree the parameter values and i want to compare against actual estimations that i have done 
manually in uh, Excel setup. So we'll run that and we run the output and we get some con um, values here for the Cox Ross Rubenstein tree, four steps. Again, it's 997. Uh, the value of P is 5, 3. So this is the risk neutral probability, the up and the down. Okay, so in a, a previous video clip, I did an estimation like this. And I have some uh, video explanation here, this link. So I'll post that underneath. Um, but I did a four step tree where I use the parameter values, same parameter values here as the uh, what we used in our our tree. So we we'll just expand that a little bit to see investigate. So what we have here is a ten step, uh, a four step tree. It's a call option. It's European. I use the Cox Ross Rubenstein tree from VBA. I verify I get the same result as I have here. Uh, Nine ninety seven zero five uh, two three uh, for the same per. Black Scholes parameters 1045. If I increase this to a thousand, we get closer. Again, we saw that before. 1044, but I'm, I'm we're using four here. And we set out a tree then, a manual tree, where I said, okay, let's generate the stock price. And the stock price goes up. And the stock price goes down. Okay, and if I compare this manual output here. Okay, so if we compare the manual tree against the values we have Okay, so this is a five, four step tree, one step, two step, three step, four. Uh, we can see from here the tree value corresponds. So the stock price here of 100 is what the initial stock price was and then we create our tree with the stock price going up okay so 100 to 110.52 same as what we have here 110.51.7 122.14 134.99 124.99 and we have 149.18 so these values are the same we can verify that and then we had a look at the we generated from the stock price tree, we estimated the intrinsic value of the option. So let's take a, a peek at that. The intrinsic value of the option was obtained by taking the difference between the S, the node, and the exercise. And we can see here the values obtained in the option price tree, the 491.8, but that's too... Uh, 10 to the power of 1, so we multiply by 10, corresponds to this value. Likewise, the 22, uh, uh, 14, same as here. This value is virtually 0, 0, 0, and 0. And then, finally then, in terms of doing our option price tree, we have um, the value here of, again, 36, 22, 36, 22, 15 again to the power of 10 to the power, multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. So we're scaling up 10 times. This value here is virtually, virtually 0, 0, 0. Okay, 24, power of uh, 10, 15, 92, 32, uh, 3, 32, and then 9, ultimately 9, 97, which corresponds to the output here. What about the values for P and U and D? We can see that they're the same. So uh, the value here for for U and D, they're the same. 094094 for P, 0537. So this tree is Cox Ross Rubenstein tree is consistent with the uh, a manual tree that I estimated. Uh, so so my view would be this is a quite a decent package, quite a good package with good overall uh, 
output and in the next video I'll do uh, the plot for the tree.